Hi guys, one of the issue when trying to start the computer, the file is possibly corrupt. The file header checksum does not match the computed checksum. So this is one of the error getting while starting your PC. So it's very simple and easy. Just follow the step to fix. So it is most of the time because of RAM and some of the hardware changes even you can try the startup repair from the advanced boot option try resetting your PC or you can just do the clean installation by the end if the problem is not fixed but this problem must be fixed in a few simple steps it's uh, because of the some of the hardware changes you have made or maybe because of RAM so what are you going to do either your RAM is corrupted you have to buy the another RAM or you just uh, want the RAM that you have installed if it was working fine just get it out and just clean it and put it back again and it should be working fine let me show you guys how so at first let me shut down my PC all right so guys you can follow the steps even for your laptop as well as desktop uh, you just have to follow the procedure it's the same procedure even for your laptop uh, same RAM issue so you can see I have a couple of RAM over here I'm just going to get this both RAM out of it so before you do this make sure you unplug the power cable and shut down your PC so get the both RAM out of your desktop or the laptop and clean it properly even clean the space over here properly with a clean clothes so guys you can just uh, put this after cleaning just place this RAM in a RAM slot properly so whether you are using one RAM or two RAM just press it and make it tight so just press it properly so I'm just going to put one RAM so maybe sometime your RAM is not working properly maybe it is corrupted or it is crashed or damaged so even try using the different RAM so you can get the another different RAM and new RAM and you can just try it so RAM is the big issue behind this problem so once you have changed the RAM or once you have cleaned and put the RAM again properly into your desktop or the laptop what are you going to do you can just uh, plug in the cable and start your PC and give a look so when you start your PC you can see it's booting now there is no error like this so it should be working now so all these steps you can follow to fix this issue so be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment if this method really help you guys so guys catch you in the next video have a good day